Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Miguel Hurtado and this is my review of the 2016 movie Arrival and its relation with one of the most controversial linguistic theories of all times, which is the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. A theory that states that language is affected... No, that our mental processes are affected by the language we speak. And uh, there are two versions of the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. The strong version states that language determines the way we think. So, for instance, a particular culture that speaks a language that has no words for colors would not understand colors or would not be able to tell the difference between colors or among colors. They won't, they won't be able to recognize a particular color. And as we know, we are all humans and we all have the capacity of seeing, right? Well, in, in exception of some cases. Uh, but we all can distinguish among colors. So linguistic determinism has been radically changed or I would say that has been modified and it's, and it's not just uh, or it's not as accepted as it is the soft version or the weak version of the Sapir Whorf hypothesis, which is called linguistic relativism, in which uh, it is it is stated that language not determines but influences the way we think. And uh, what is the connection between this linguistic hypothesis or theory and the movie? Well, the main connection is made or is done through the concept the conception of time yeah because we human beings consider the time as being linear and uh, apparently for heptapods time is not linear this is weird right how is that time is not linear well we can not tell how is that the understand uh, uh, their the time being non-linear because we we live and we we are born we develop and then we die and that's how it is right there are some things happening in this very moment which is the present and there there are other things that have happened and other things to come right and that's the the classical perspective on time but here Using the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis, we can notice that one person, just one single person, has been able to understand an alien form of language, which is uh, expressed throughout icons, mostly icons, because they will analyze in the movie, they will analyze the written form of this heptapod language, heptapod, it's the name given to the aliens, and uh, well, here I have a logogram, which is a sample of the written form, and it has no clear beginning and no clear end. And it has, it, it is said in the movie that you can read it uh, by analyzing its spot. It is supposed to be a, a mathematical formula, a physical formula, and uh, it is about dividing the circle in 12 pieces, 12 equal pieces. Uh, but well, that's not part of the linguistic analysis I'm trying to develop, uh, so I will be back to the linguistic analysis. Uh, uh, the movie is entirely about time, and changing our time perception is, seems to be the main goal of the filmmakers, uh, because it starts with events that happens in the future, and they're, they are the first thing in the movie, so it's kind of tricky. <laughs> the movie is in, in, self, in itself non-linear, as the time representation that they are trying to convey here. And uh, well, how is that Louis Banks, who is the linguist that can communicate with the aliens, understand the time the way as heptapods do? How is that their vision or her vision changes from a linear perspective to a non-linear perspective? Well, I don't really have the answer for that, but it could be explained using the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. One explanation would be that 
learning their language, learning the heptapods language, has given her the ability to change her perspective on time. And therefore, she is able to, to do a lot of things that we couldn't do, like time traveling. She travels, she flashes forward and bring some memories from the future memories from the future yes you have <laughs> you have listened that and that's the real thing that happens because she goes to the future for instance when she she's in the, the United Nations gathering with General Xiang after she has saved the world she has saved the world she um, she gathers some information from there and then she uses in her present so she remembered things the way we, the way as we will remember things from the past, but she remembered things from the future. And her perspective on time has been radically changed because of her understanding of their language. So that has been my review. I hope you have liked it and thanks for watching.